Today we're taking a look at a Palo Verde home. This floor plan is called the Maple Farmhouse and I got a lot of information to give you guys, so strap in. But before I get into the home tour, this is a rear entry home. So watch this, your backyard and your garage slash driveway are combined. On this particular one, you can use it like this corner house is using it and park some vehicles on the side if the subdivision allows, of course. So where new construction can get a little confusing. This home that I have right here is the same exact floor plan. The farmhouse was down there. This is the Craftsman. So they're both called the Maple. The one that we're about to tour on the inside is the Craftsman and the one that my drone was on was the farmhouse. And I'll point out the miscellaneous details. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into the farmhouse. But the farmhouse, the beams, instead of being stucco, they were the wood posts. And then you still got the wood siding outside of this Craftsman. It just has more gray tones opposed to the white, giving it that modern farmhouse look. The windows on this Craftsman are white windows. When you go with a farmhouse style with Palo Verde Homes, it's going to be black windows. And this is your front yard, by the way. You'll get a front landscaping allowance from the builder of about $1,200, it varies. Um, this home also has that side parking space. I don't know what it is with these lots on Tony Harper Street on the east side of El Paso, but these rear entry homes have a good amount of parking. You're just you know, lacking a little bit of backyard. Something I wanna to touch on is that it matters the way your builder lays the home on the lot. For example, I've seen some 5,500 square foot lots with a real small yard, and this one is about 5,500 or 5,200, and it really isn't that small. They pushed it to one side, so the side where your AC is is pretty small. Maybe it could be used as a dog run area. Um, but yeah, it's gonna matter the way the builder lays the home on the lot. Um, this door right here, it's a fiberglass door. In the farmhouse, you get the glass fiberglass door. And the biggest difference between this one and the farmhouse is this ceiling right here as soon as you walk in. When it's the farmhouse, it's a 15 foot ceiling. Right here, you just get the, the, nine, the nine foot ceiling in your living space all the way around. And then the biggest other difference are going to be the brush nickel accents on the door handles and the faucets and all that. Um, this is one bedroom. I did notice that they put black fans inside of the bedrooms. Usually black fans only go on the farmhouses. Uh, more than likely they put these black fans because the home is complete. So they wanted to incentivize buyers to purchase it by putting in that black fan upgrade. And a lot of people are not a fan of the bedrooms in the front of the house. And for some reason, all new construction builders, they, they do it like this. Um, if this is something you really want to stray away from, I can help you get into a fully custom home and we can completely configure the home to make sure that all the bedrooms are in the back of the house or maybe just a little bit more private. Um, this, kit, this, uh, this bathroom, one cool thing about that bathroom is that the niche on the shower, I'm not sure if you noticed, but it was one big niche rather than a little tiny square and these bedrooms, as far as the size on them, they're about a little bit bigger than a 10 by 10, maybe like an 11 by 10, 11 by 12 at the largest. Uh, I would say you could put a, a queen size bed in here. It'll feel a little crammed. Um, it would look better if you put a full size bed in there. And right here, we got our living room. So this fireplace is not an upgrade or anything like that. All the floor plans of the maple come like this nor are the shutters in all Palo Verde homes, shutters come included on every single major window. For example, those windows up there are not major windows. You don't need privacy right there. Um, if for some reason you wanted to take this fireplace off, you could if you were building from the ground up, but since the home's already complete, you know, the builder's not going to take this particular one off. And now we got the tile to talk about. This tile, when you're building a home with Palo Verde, you can pretty much pick all your colors. Um, this tile, I actually think it might be one of the few upgraded color tiles, uh, but since this is a complete home, they just threw them in here. That's what I'm thinking. You got your furnace right here. Um, but yeah, whenever you're buying a complete new construction home, you're getting the best possible deal out of a new home because they're giving you the most incentives possible. You know, the they're, they're adding in upgrades, they're giving closing costs, they're purchasing your rate down. Um, anyways, going on to the kitchen, living room, dining aspect. This kitchen is open concept, the home is open concept, but it's separated. Some people might not like this, but I like it because, you know, it's it doesn't make you feel like you're in one huge room. If you're having a get together, you're not 
all crammed together. You get to be in separate sections, having separate conversations. And this is your pantry. This is one of the few, few, few Palo Verde homes that have such a large pantry. Um, if this isn't considered large for you, then I would suggest that we go into a custom style or maybe just like higher price point home because that's where pantries get bigger, even the butler style pantries. So I just realized I haven't mentioned him by now, but this home is actually for sale. Three beds, two and a half baths. This specific one, the Craftsman version is $302,000 and the farmhouse is $314,000. And at the time of making this video, the builder's currently offering a 2-1 buy down. So they'll pay for your closing costs. They'll get you a 4.125 interest rate the first year, five second year, and six the third year. Or you could just ask them uh, for a certain amount of contribution to buy it down to a fixed rate. Um, here's that side space, by the way, that you can use to park all your vehicles. This stucco on the outside, it has elastomeric paint inside of it, two layers of stucco. Um, those are one of the little things that Palo Verde does to separate themselves and be one of the best builders uh, because they are a builder that has a good reputation. They were voted best builder in the city for like four years in a row now. Um, this half bathroom being here is a little convenient because your garage is right near here. So when you get home, you just boom, run to this half bath. But anyways, this is pretty cool. You got your laundry room right next to your garage and your primary bedroom that we don't gotta walk a lot whenever you're doing laundry and your bathroom again, it's close to your garage when you need to go real quick. You got some storage in this laundry room so that you can hide away all the soaps, make your laundry room look aesthetic, clean, simple look. And one cool thing is that this builder gives you the option between gas and electric for your dryer, opposed to just electric. Um, th this right here is the main reason why this is one of the most affordable ways to get into this square footage of home. So in El Paso, this rear entry style really isn't popular. Um, so not a lot of people are used to it. And for this reason, these homes just don't sell as fast. So this home's a lot more economical than if the garage were to be in front. And of course it takes away from your backyard space. One pro to it though, is that if you wanna park a lot of vehicles and you don't really need a backyard, this can be something super beneficial to you, especially if you put up a privacy fence like these people right behind you did. Um, something to think about though, when you're moving into a new construction community, you're going to have new construction around you for a while. You're going to have dust flying around, trucks going around, all that. So that's something to think about if you kind of want peace right away and you can't handle maybe like one, two, even three years of construction around you. Um, but anyways, walking into the last part of this home, we got the garage, it's the fully insulated garage, Dwayne Dalton garage door. Poxy flooring is standard, tankless water heater so that you don't run out, don't flood your garage, even though the con is that it takes a little bit longer to heat up at first. And then you got this Wi-Fi garage door opener, which is awesome. Your kids lock themselves out, your friend locks himself out, whoever locks himself out of the house, you open it from your phone. This primary bedroom, I will admit to you guys, it's really not that big. If you got a California King, it's gonna be a little bit of a tight squeeze inside of this floor plan. Um, you can fit it in there. It's just not going to be as spacious of a room. And I really think it's because they prioritize a lot of space into the dining, kitchen, living. And then you got that pantry, the big pantry. It's taking up some space. And we got our bathroom right here. The main thing about this is the standalone tub. Everybody loves this. But hey, there's 20 plus builders in El Paso, Texas. 2,366 options at the time of making this video. So if you need any help deciding on which builder, which home, new or used is best for you. I would love to help you guys out. You can give me a call at any time, I'm not too busy for you. Um, even if you just need education, you're not gonna buy for another billion years, I'd be more than happy to simply educate you and add some value to you guys. Uh, by the way, smart box inside this closet for your Wi-Fi security system and all that.